The coronavirus. What the fuck? We don't have a direct anti-coronavirus treatment. All right, there has been a new virus known as the coronavirus that started in Wuhan, China. This is scary. It's got similar symptoms to SARS. If you don't know what SARS was, it was an epidemic in 2002 to 2003, almost 800 people died. It started in China and spread all over the globe because of airplane travel and whatnot. And now there's a new virus in town, the coronavirus. This is a very large outbreak. I'm an infectious disease specialist and public health person. Coronaviruses are a whole family of viruses. So this virus is a respiratory virus. The symptoms aren't even that crazy. It's cough. <laughs> fever and just feeling overall like crud. So basically you just feel like you're sick. I mean, I'm sick right now. I don't know if I have it. I came from Europe. I don't know if I was on a plane with somebody from Wuhan, China. I don't know where Wuhan, China is. A couple of the symptoms are difficulty breathing. Maybe because I'm fat right now, I have difficulty breathing, but like if I have a slight hiccup in my breath, I'm just going to the hospital. Corner that captures the crash. Take a look at this video. Okay, so a little bit more info on the coronavirus. There's six confirmed deaths right now. It started from one person who got it from a bat, literally a fruit bat. Deadly coronavirus has now been discovered inside the United States. In China, officials say the virus has killed at least nine people. And they put that man who contracted the coronavirus in isolation. He checked into this hospital hours after he was diagnosed with the coronavirus. The CDC are taking to stop the illness in its tracks. It's been found in isolated parts of China, Hong Kong, Thailand, the US, and Japan. Now. The question is, how do you contain the 2,200 people that have come in contact with the person who had it? Well, the CDC is the Center of Disease Control. They're tracking these people. They're tracking them like cray cray. Keeping them under surveillance, making sure their symptoms aren't increasing. So um, the scariest part for me is if they come into the US and for you guys and for any country you live in, if anybody comes from Wuhan, China, how do you stop them? Here are the measures they put in place. They have deployed over 100 people to New York, to San Francisco and Los Angeles. They will be screening people who are arriving from particularly Wuhan, China. The CDC put in place last week a screening, a mandatory screening from anybody coming from Wuhan, China at the following airports, LAX, JFK, and San Fran. Now, if you're coming from Wuhan, China, you have to be rerouted to one of these three main hubs to get screened. If you get screened, you can enter the country. If not, whoop, right back to Wuhan, China. So it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary. Uh, the SARS outbreak killed 800 people and it was all over the globe and there was no treatment for it. And eventually they stopped it and uh, quarantined all those people. But it's entered the US guys. It's entered the US, so be careful out there. I don't know how you can be careful, but just be careful, okay? If you have any type of symptoms of a cold, go see the doctor. It might just be a cold, but go see the doctor. You never know who you come in contact with. I'm freaking out. This could be uh, God's natural plan to end us all. I sure hope not. What, what am I gonna do about the vlog? So last night I was reading up about this stuff because there, there is no vaccine for it yet. President Trump actually tweeted that they've got it all under control. Okay, Trump, thank you for calling me down. The problem here is that the Chinese New Year's coming up this weekend, it goes into February. 400 million people travel in and out of China during these months. That's a lot of people to keep track of. The busiest time to travel in uh, China, so their government has actually issued a statement to try and stay out of densely populated areas to contain this, because you don't know who's got it. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I don't mean to freak you guys out, but I wanted you to become aware of it. Respiratory viruses happen all the time. The coronavirus has actually been around for a long time, but this is like a rogue virus within that virus. But you know, from time to time, there's a rogue coronavirus that develops. <sighs> This like, whenever something like this happens, like the MERS virus a couple years ago, I always think of those movies where it's like the apocalyptic endings where the whole world gets sick. It's like Dawn of the Dead all over again. Everybody's eating each other's necks to try and survive. I don't want to eat anyone's neck. That's not happening. I would rather just, I'll just let it take me. Especially to my loyal YouTube subscribers, I'm not gonna eat your neck and I will not kill. If the virus takes over me, I'll end myself. We're getting ahead of ourselves. There's only been one confirmed case in DC, in the US, they have him under control. And with all these other preventative measures at uh, screening stations at the New York and LA and San Fran airports, I feel very safe. You should feel safe too. Uh, I've been reading up about it all morning. It's gonna be contained. Nothing to worry about, but it has come to the US. And again, the Chinese government has says we will allow our frontline airline employees to wear the preventative masks because it can be spread through uh, 
contact, so I guess that's why they're covering their masks. Fine with me, thank you Chinese government. Again, there's been 2,200 diagnosed people so far. They're tracking about 1,400 of them closely. I don't know about the other 700, that scares me a little bit. But the thing about epidemics is, if you come in contact with it, you can just spread it every single day with whoever you come in contact with. So tracking all those people becomes a nightmare, uh, but the CDC says they have it under control, so you guys can sleep at night. What if, I always think about this, what if an epidemic was so severe that it wiped out a certain percentage of the population. It used to happen in the old days before modern medicine. I don't think because of technology and our CDC, thank you CDC, that it could ever get to that point. It might, I don't know. I should say that for legal purposes. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! What's crazy about this is the natural host for this coronavirus are fruit bats. Is it a fox? Or is it a bat? There's a friggin' bazillion fruit bats out there in China, so. First transmitted to humans from animals. If one gets it, can they all get it? I don't really know. It's probably gonna be spread through other animals. Scary situation, but I do feel safe knowing that they got the one confirmed case in Washington, D.C. on January 15th. They have it under control. They have his itinerary to see who he was next to, and they're gonna track those people, and everything's gonna be under control. But you guys should know and be aware that the virus is out there. If you have any respiratory symptoms, it's probably just a cold. But if symptoms don't get better, go see a doctor. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, this just came in on the wire. London Heathrow Airport is also gonna set up a screening for passengers, they said on Wednesday. So, great, great news. We're, we're making traction across Americas and the EU. Also, the sharp rise in the number of cases in the never-before-seen virus have left many Chinese suspicious that local governments covered up previous cases of the virus. The first case of the Wuhan coronavirus was reported on December 31st of 2019. Uh, that scares me, why would you cover up this horrible disease? Six people have died, that's pretty scary. I guess that's it. That doesn't look very good, so I don't want that. The global community is really watching this with great care. Stay safe out there. I had to bring this crazy quick thing to your attention because I want people to know about it. And uh, I read about it all morning, so I'm kind of obsessed with it. But tomorrow we have a good finance vlog coming. Which stocks you should invest in? And is the stock market crash of 2020 coming in 2020? I have the answer. Subscribe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The sharp rise in the number of cases of the never the sharp rise in the number of cases of the never before seen virus have left many have left many the sharp rise in the number of the sharp rise in the number of cases of the never before also the sharp vi